Hey, Spence? Spence, where are you? Oh, there you are. Geez, why have you been ghosting me? Oh, well, good job. Hello, filmmakers, Ash here, and welcome to Film It Yourself. So, as you might have known, if you follow me on social media or if you've seen any of my recent shorts, I've been working on a secret project involving green screen and Spence. Well, I'm super excited to finally tell you all about it. But first, we have to go back in time. Dudes, you guys are gonna go back in time. <sighs> Don't worry, not that far, just back a few months. While location scouting in Portland over the summer, I got a very unexpected email from Leica. Yes, that Leica, the stop motion animation studio behind films such as Coraline and Kubo and the Two Strings. Crazy, right? Well, they said they loved my YouTube channel. Oh my God, what? And that they wanted to do a collaboration with me to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of their film, Paranorman. Holy bananas, Batman. They said they were interested in having me and four other filmmakers recreate iconic scenes from the movie in live action. Basically, my head exploded. If you didn't already know, I love zombies. I mean, I've made several zombie shorts, including my award-winning film, Zombie Debt, and my viral video, Plants vs. Zombies. So obviously, I jumped at the chance to celebrate the 10-year anniversary of one of the few stop-motion zombie movies out there, I'm also a huge fan of Paranorman and everything Leica. I always love the look and feel of stop motion films and I feel like no one does it better than Leica. The immense detail they put into every shot makes their world feel so authentic and real while still having that quirky, fun stop motion vibe. Their characters and stories always seem to resonate and feel timeless. So excited and honestly still a little in shock, I jumped at the chance to recreate and direct the scene where Norman helps Neil play fetch with his dead dog, Bub. Bub to be played by Spence, of course. This scene feels especially personal to me because one of the themes both in the scene and overall in the film is reconnecting with loved ones who have passed. I haven't talked about it on the channel before, but in the beginning of 2021, my father passed away unexpectedly. Due to COVID and him being immune compromised, I hadn't seen him in over two years. And he really instilled the love of filmmaking in me. Thus, this beautiful scene of Neil connecting with his long lost best friend while forging a new friendship touched my heart. I love how Paranorman is a story about grief and how Western cultural norms tell us we need to move on, when really maybe we can still have a connection to those who have passed and still remember them every day. So I am super excited to be working on this project and I plan to keep you up to date along the way with more behind the scenes posts and vlogs about the process. The live action scenes from Paranorman will be premiering at a watch party on October 15th after a screening of the film. So check out the link in the description below and head over to paranorman.scener.com to RSVP for the premiere so you don't miss the party. I'll be there for the premiere in the chat. And just to give you a fun sneak peek, here's some behind the scenes footage for the location scout I already did for this project. So I am actually on my way this weekend to the Salute Your Shorts Film Festival, but I'm also location scouting for this Leica project today with the DP Way. And I got here super early to Eagle Rock, which is where the location is. We're doing a peer space here. So it's almost time. So I'm gonna head back and Way and I are going to check out the location, which I'm very excited about. Okay, I am at the location, location scouting with the DP oh, way. Oh. All right, I am at the location, location scouting with the I DP so. way. <laughs> I love that you're critiquing yourself. I'm keeping it all in. <laughs> all right, I am at the location, location scouting with Way, the DP, hey. Hi. And Way brought his drone because we are going to test out some drone shots because there's some pretty big like bird's eye view shots, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit easier to get a drone up in there versus a real camera. Yes. <laughs> you don't fly away. Yeah. Um, I try, but usually I hit the ground. Oh, yeah, that does happen. 
Um, but we're thinking of putting the bench that Norman's gonna sit on right here. Just imagine that, yep, that's gonna be the bench. And then over here is the tree that Neil's gonna throw the stick at and hit himself out with. Hit himself out with, knock himself out with. You know what, words. What are words? And then down here is a path that Spence is gonna appear as the ghost dog. So it's gonna be awesome. It's, it's gonna, gonna be great. Yeah, it's gonna be hot. It's, it's like gonna be very hot. 80 right now. Yeah. 88, oh my gosh. And a lot of bugs, mosquitoes. A lot of I'm bugs. I'm already like eating alive right now. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well that's it for now, but uh, stay tuned for more. Like and subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> I cannot wait to tell you more, so definitely stay tuned. Until then, if you wanna help me make more cool things, consider supporting me on Patreon for the low cost of just $5 a month. There you can get access to all of my templates and get early access to all of my videos. You can also view my entire Filmmaker Chat livestream archive, where I interview other filmmakers so you can learn from their sage wisdom. There's over 25 recordings exclusively on Patreon, so there's lots more to learn there. So until next time, go film it yourself.